Today I will show you how to upgrade the HP Victor's laptop. So first and foremost, remove the eight screws that uh, hold the laptop back cover and then slowly pull out the back cover like this and use a prying tool, preferably a plastic one to just, uh, you know, make sure that it, it kind of detaches from the back cover. Okay, and and make sure you are sliding it across gently. Don't be too rough with it. Do not use any metal objects because that can damage the back cover and the latches themselves can break. So I'm, I'm kind of um, showing this to you because in the edges you might be facing a little difficulty to open it. So all you need to do is just gently pull it up with your nails and then, you know, pull these. Uh, uh, prying tool across so that it kind of detaches again again if you see one corner detached nicely and the other corner still has uh, some issues coming off so don't pull it just like use the prying tool to slowly you know slide across and then make sure that you know it is detaching okay so I'm showing it to you here so I'm just gently pulling it up and then using the prying tool to detach it okay so once it comes off, uh, you have your internals exposed for you to upgrade. Okay. So this particular uh, PC comes with an inbuilt 512GB SSD already installed. This is an empty SSD slot here. This is an M2.0 slot. Uh, and this is your RAM slot. And this is 8GB from Samsung. Okay. So I'm going to be putting the crucial 1TB SSD M2.0 uh, drive here so basically you just need to gently slide it in like this don't put too much of pressure and make sure that it is hovering at an angle and then just lightly tap on it to make sure it is secure and then put the copper heat cover on top of it so this basically lets uh, the heat dissipation happen and uh, make sure that you are um, you know tightening the screw a little gently don't use excessive force to tighten this Okay, and this slot is supposed to be a Gen 4 slot. The uh, already uh, existing slot is a Gen 3 slot as per HP. Okay, now to remove the RAM, all you need to do is just pull these latches gently outwards and the RAM kind of pops out. Okay, like this and then pull out the RAM. Okay, and store it safely. And then now we are ready to upgrade it to the newer RAMs. Okay, so the first RAM slot uh, is a little easy to slide it in because there was already a RAM in it. It's a little smoother to do so. So as you can see, I'm just aligning the notch to it and then pushing it in gently. And there you go. And all I need to do is press it and the latches will latch onto it. Okay. So now let's put the second slot. So basically when you put the RAM in the second slot, as I said, since there was no prior RAM installed on it, it might be a little rough and it might not go in straight away in the first try. So be a little gentle with it. So as you can see here, I'm trying to push it in, but it is not going. And I kind of uh, try to push it in a little more, it still doesn't go. And then uh, let's say I kind of press it in like this. You will observe that the latches do not hold on properly. So that's when you know it's not correctly fit and it is not correctly set so you need to just pull it out don't put too much of pressure or do not even turn on the laptop in this mode your laptop might not boot so now i'm just going to take it out i'm just going to verify the notch again and then i'm just going to slide it in like this and make sure a little bit pressure i put here so that it goes inside so the copper should be completely inside copper connectors so now once the connectors are inside i'm just pushing it down and the latches just latch on that's about it so your system is now upgraded so in total i put about 32 gb ram here and a 512 gb uh, ssd plus an additional one terabyte ssd so now we just put the back cover on top of it i'm not going to uh, uh, put these screws as of yet because i just want to make sure that uh, the system boots up correctly and it recognizes the ram and the ssds after that i will uh, uh, screw it in so you just need to press it a little bit uh, on the edges so that it latches on and once it is done we can start to boot the system okay so now I'm just going to start to boot it up okay so remember you don't need to go into the BIOS settings to enable the RAM or the hard disk it will be auto detected for the hard disk you need to go into your disk management and it will be shown as an empty uh, partition what you need to do is format it into an NTFS format or whatever it is so that that particular partition is available for you to use okay and for the RAM you don't need to do anything it will be automatically detected 
and it should show up in your uh, task manager okay so let me just uh, quickly show you the ram capacity so I, i'm using uh, both the rams with the same manufacturer because that's better because uh, they have uh, similar speeds and uh, they will have lesser compatibility issues okay so as you can see here the total memory is 32 gb running in dual channel 16 gb each okay and we have a disk one and disk zero as well so i had earlier to this gone to my disk manager and uh, partitioned it that is why the disk is showing up here so i'll just open up the uh, disk for you and show it um, so that you can see the capacity okay let me go to my pc and there you go so you have your 512 gb ssd here and your one terabyte ssd here okay so thanks for watching hope to see you next time